that little butterfly's right over there. Maybe he's going to the vine. Go that way. My name's Ileana Pena, and we're in New Braunfels, Texas, in my backyard. Today, we're gonna spend a little time talking about native plants and pocket prairies. I, as a resident here in New Braunfels, uh, spend a lot of time in my backyard. I enjoy our native pollinators, wildlife, and I do what I can to make my yard as inviting as possible for that. Today, we're gonna to show you a little bit about what I do and how I do that. When you dig that first hole, depending on where you live in the state, things like clay might come out. So you wanna take your native soil and when mixed with the right compost, will actually become something a lot more easy to use. So we're gonna go ahead and plant some mealy blue sage in our hole over here. I tend to use cedar mulch to help keep moisture in the soil. All right, let's hope that this one does well. You know, when you consider planting a pocket prairie, it isn't too hard. If you have an area that is lush with yard grass or lawn grass, you will want to try to remove that first. So when you're planting a little pocket prairie, you do want to disturb the soil just a bit. So what I'm doing is supplementing additional seed down. Notice we're dealing with some light, fluffy seed. Black-eyed Susans, Texas Blue Bonnets, Indian Blanket, and several other little wildflowers that we're pretty familiar with. So what we do is tap it in. We're not trying to bury it. Right now, it looks like everybody else's yard because we're coming out of the summer. But in the spring, this is covered in wine cup, Indian Blanket, and assortment of other wildflowers. Natives never disappoint. This little garden went in last fall and it's doing just great. You know, let's go take a look at the pocket prairie and see how it's doing. Pocket prairies tend to be a little patchy, but this one for as dry as it's been looks great. I mean, just looking at this, I see four or five different species of flowering plants. You spend a little time really looking at it. There are all these wonderful little pollinators using all the flowers. Planting pocket prairies aren't necessarily hard to do. There are a lot of resources out there to help you put one into your yard. They don't have to be big. As you can see, it can be just a small space, but what it contributes to wildlife and pollinators is really just wonderful. 